My name is Rainer Fischer, I'm a biologist and I'm interested in innovative medicines uh, and we try to manufacture and produce these drugs in plants by putting the genetic information into these. Yeah, we're involved in a big European uh, consortium entitled Pharma Planta with partners from 38 uh, different organizations from 12 European countries and South Africa. And the idea is to produce these medicines in different plants. So here in Aachen, we put the genetic information in tobacco plants, for example, for an anti-HIV antibody. Uh, we try to select the best producing plants and to develop the processes for uh, extracting clinical grade material that we then basically provide to partners like in the United Kingdom, in London, that then perform with this material the clinical trials, in this case a phase one human clinical trial. Every cell contains the entire information in its genome. The genome is like a book with pages and sets of instruction to make the cell express all the properties it needs. When we make a genetically modified organism, we add a new piece of information in form of a transgene to make the cell produce a novel property to our liking. In our case, the transgene is a human gene. At this stage, the plant cells are transformed. By transformation, we mean a process where we integrate foreign DNA into the genome of the plant. Here we use agrobacteria as a natural genetic engineer. At a later stage, we take small areas of the transformed plant tissue and subject it to tissue culture, where we actually regenerate a whole transgenic plant from a single cell. In the tissue culture, small plantlets have been regenerated that, given some time, can be grown into full transgenic plants. A little later, these plants will actually make flowers and, after pollination, set seeds. These seeds can then normally be grown, like any other non-transgenic plants, to produce a medicine. So we hope that the knowledge gained within this EU Pharma Planter Consortium can be expanded uh, to other crops, for example corn or crops that are grown in the region for the specific needs uh, and the specific diseases. So in addition to what we've done with HIV, we hope that we can expand this knowledge uh, to be applied in the other grand challenges like malaria and uh, tuberculosis, infectious diseases and also tropical diseases. Before we have the actual medicine, we first need to release the product from the plant and purify it. Usually this involves several steps and what we see here is the first step where the plant biomass is homogenized by a mechanical um, rupture. In the easiest form, this can be done in a normal kitchen blend. After the homogenization of the plant material, we separate the liquid from the solid parts and the extract is subjected to a number of purification processes before we obtain the final purified product that can be used as a medicine. 